Jerome Preisler. <laughs> <laughs> I know who it is. Jer- uh, for those of you who don't know who Jerome Preisler is, uh, he's quite a celebrity and a, and a great get for our podcast. Uh, I don't know he's about the New York first Times. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's a New York Times best-selling author, and uh, he already had uh, a little bit of a debate with Megan Scott, who's on the line here, who's a Tigers fan. Uh, Jerome pre- bringing baseball into this. I know this isn't Twilight, but we can still Boston's bring baseball. Boston's getting whooped right now, just so you know. <laughs> so is well, it baseball in Twilight? I didn't even know that. <laughs> well, it's a little bit more. Uh, they have a little bit more power, and they're a little bit faster than we are. I see, but they're so they're vampire baseball players. Yeah. Right, but they both. They like the whenever Yankees. in the light. Right, whenever they're in the light, though, they both. Both real, both Derek Jeter and Twilight they players, sparkle. they both sparkle. Yeah. Oh my God. So. Jeter, I don't know about that. <laughs> oh, he's obviously well, we, a maybe, vampire. Maybe Miguel Cabrera then for Megan. All right, there we go. If that makes her happy. Okay, so Jerome, I got you to read Hunger Games. Uh, it, was, it took a little bit of pushing, but you know, being being someone who's published and who's really out there in the literary world. What did you think about the about the books, and, and are you excited about the movies coming out? Well, I um, I enjoyed. I've only read the first book, so I've only actually okay. literally, literally read the Hunger Games, and um, I enjoyed it. I liked it quite a bit. I I can't say um, only because of my own predispositions that I'm excited about the movie. Only because I never get excited about any movies. Um, <laughs> I mean, I, 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 if if I go to a movie that's based on a on a book and it, uh, and it's good, then I'm happily surprised. Um, I I don't generally have any real expectations until I see it. I don't. I really mistrust uh, Hollywood completely. Um, so I I can't uh, I, I can't really say that I'm looking forward to it. But I can't say I'm not looking forward to it. Will I go see it? Yeah, pro- most likely I will. But I'll probably wait to see what you say about it first, Adam. Mm-hmm. Well, well, One thing that I, I think would is... listen to me. I'd listen to these other people. You know, put me last on your listening. All right, so I'll put you last. Anyway, but ahead. I would probably, I, I'd probably <laughs> wait to see what reviews are like to uh, to get some kind of sense of of uh, of what the movies, uh, how you know, wh- whether it captured the book or not, um, and, and whether or and what sort of. Um, whether it was too Hollywoodized, if I can make a word up right now. Sure. Savannah, go ahead. Sorry. Oh, no, I was just going to say I'm I'm actually super excited to talk to Jerome about this. Just, I, I keep saying that I think that Hunger Games has the potential to be far uh, greater a success than Twilight because I think it has the ability to reach people of uh, so many more – Backgrounds like uh, you know Jerome is definitely not in the target demographic for the Hunger Games, but uh, so, so like reading it, you know what you're not you're, you're like I just said you're not in the target demographic, but um, but you still enjoyed it. What how, what you know what what did you find in it to relate to? Well, I think there's a lot. I, I think first of all, first and foremost, it's a, it's just a good uh, it's a good adventure yarn. That's that's beyond anything else. It's just uh, it's it's paced very well, um, so it's and it's and it's a it's one it's a, a re, it's the sort of read that you you pick up and you don't put down. Um, so 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 more than anything else to begin with, I, I think it's well plotted, well structured, um, and and as an as a writer, I kind of tend to dissect what I read anyway. So when I see a book that's solidly put together, um, the the just just the just finishing a novel alone is a pretty good indication that I that I think it's good because if I don't I won't finish it I won't I probably won't get past page thirty. Um, what I also feel about this, what I think has made it as popular as it is, and I think what makes it what, what made it interesting to me was that it reflects. Um, it really is a is a is a powerful reflection of um, oh of contemporary society and i think most especially since it is targeted at a younger demographic i think it strikes um some very real chords with people who are right now um whether they're in um 
whether they're in high school, whether they're in college, whether they're just getting out of college, and um, they're looking at what the future holds for them, and they're seeing a great deal of inequity. They're seeing a, a society that's um, stacked in many ways against them. And I think that um, in in your um, dystopian society in Hunger Games, where, where you have... Um, it, it's more nuanced than than many other um, uh, such such books in the sense that um, I think uh, the uh, um, I've lost my train of thought a bit, but I, I think I think that the way <laughs> which happens a lot, but I think I just think that over overall the the society is portrayed um, is very uh, hard edged in in in. Uh, in, in in representing a, a, a situation for your for your protagonist where they really know they're not on equal footing with the people they're competing against, where there is a great deal of wealth in this society, um, but it's all centered in one place. Um, I also think that the obviously the reality kind show of like aspect the of it. Well, <laughs> you know, you could use that. I I, I wouldn't particularly use that, that that analogy, but I think you know, Yankee haters could. Um, <laughs> but 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 I do think that that you know uh, I I did have a conversation with with an economist a few weeks ago, and and um, she was she was telling me about um, you know a lot of different things that I was you know suspected but was but really didn't know for sure. And she was talking a lot about how we have a great deal of wealth in the society, but it's all it's it's all in one area, and I think that's the society you find um, in Hunger Games. Um, and I also think, uh, if I may, and I'll, start, I'll cut myself off after that, I also think <laughs> that um, the idea that um, uh, um, our, your, our protagonists have to play to sponsors um, and are, uh, that their they're very survival um, depends on uh, el- eliciting, uh, you know, get, getting hold of, of sponsors is uh is kind of clever and very um uh, very timely idea. <laughs>